Hey folks, this is Paul from San Gabriel, California. And I wanted to just uh, give my two cents about the uh, new collection of tools to help you cut dovetails and learn hand cut joinery from Major League Woodworking, which is Thomas McDonald's uh, uh, creation. You know, if, uh, if you're anything like me and you live and die woodworking and you just have a passion for it, eventually you'll get to the point where you want to be cutting dovetails by hand. And, you know, it's a very time-consuming process, um, but there's a lot of good information out there. And, um, and the reason why I bought these tools is because I've been a big fan of the Rough Cut Show, where Thomas uh, spends a lot of time and generously shares about um, what he's learned at North Bennett Street School. So just recently, Thomas went in, uh, in the business of creating a mallet, a marking gauge, and pairing blocks. I guess it was probably an extension of the fine woodworking article where he taught uh, the fundamentals of doing hand cut joinery. And I uh, was pretty enthusiastic to try uh, the product that he put out and really curious to see the quality because, I mean, let's face it, I mean, to make hand tools, it's... Uh, I wouldn't bother, honestly. You know, it seems like it'd be a lot of time to go into create create something even as simple as a marking gauge, and uh, so I definitely just you know would would rather buy tools than try to create them myself. But um, let me give you my two cents on this thing. As you can tell, I am not a podcaster. Um, you know, I, I just don't spend any time in front of the camera talking like this. But I think this is a good product, and I wanted to to share with you and let you actually see the product instead of just reading about it. Anyway, if you order the kit, this is what you can expect to receive. A plain box, but when you open it up, you have the satisfaction. A little thank you letter from Tommy, which is a nice touch. But you see that he's gone to the trouble to, to French fits, I guess is the correct word. Um, a foam package so that your tools don't get banged up in transit, which I just think is a neat touch. But what you get is a, uh, a well-made marking gauge with a hawk blade. And, I, you know, I particularly like the way that he did this um, compared to the other traditional marking gauge that I have, which essentially is just two pieces sliding with a locking um, wood screw that just plows right against the shaft of the tool eventually dents it all up. What he's done is he's created um, a situation where he's pushing against a dome shaped insert piece so it locks against the shaft it's real positive you know it won't move I just reset this thing right before but um, it doesn't it doesn't you know create a lot of wear marks uh, on the tool so I really like that and the Hawk blade is just killer. It works great. Um, I tell you also, comparing it to like this, this was the Cadillac marking gauge, at least as far as, as what I was aware of a couple of years ago. You know, and it's really been the main marking gauge I use, but whenever I've seen Thomas McDonald and, and other traditional woodworkers like Phil Lowe and these guys, uh, I always see them using traditional gauges. And what I've noticed is, is that when they use these, they're, they're able to get a lot of downward pressure right over the cutter, which is something that you don't get with this kind of a cutter. You end up putting your hand to the right side of the cover or cutter. And at least just for me, I appreciate the fact that, that when I'm using this tool, let's see, when I'm using this tool, you know, I'm able, to get some leverage right, let me set this, reset this guy. You know, I'm able to get some leverage. So I'm able to leave a nice, clean, straight mark and I'm not, you know, forcing the tool to stay up flat against the wood because the pressure's down and it, it doesn't want to tilt. So anyway, I like that tool a lot. I think it's, it's well done and it's, it's going to be the marking gauge I use from now on. I tell you, the other thing is, 
I kind of thought when I saw the the initial pictures of what the mallet was going to be, I thought, well, okay, that's kind of a gimmick, you know, baseball bat, mallet, bench bat, whatever he calls it. You know, the pictures don't do this thing justice. When you compare this um, to a traditional mallet, which this is a good size, full size beach mallet. You know, this is a heavy mallet. You know, ironically, they're about the same weight. But what's great is, it's real awkward to choke up on this and have any control. It's pretty much just just plowing through uh, and, and, you know, making serious headway uh, against mortis, mortising and so forth. Um, but this, this is kind of a joy. I mean, I, I can tap in there, I can chop out things, I can choke up on it, or I can slide my hand all the way back and I can really you know, get aggressive with it. Um, again, really well made. And you know, one thing, one thing that that uh, I just personally uh, appreciate. You probably will too if you get this. Is that this isn't just uh, you know ink, you know, stamped on the face of some tool. You know, if they do that, it's just going to wear right off. This is laser engraved and then painted. So. Uh, it's just, you know, little things that just show that he, he took some care and pride. And, I mean, by all means, if, if you've been over the Rough Cut show and you've seen Thomas's work, whether it's the Bombay or something as simple as um, a step stool, you know, he's got those traditional hands, hand tool uh, skills. He's got really the, um, he's got the gift. You know, at least for me, it's, it's, uh, I'm just amazed every time I see this guy create projects, and um, these tools are no exception. You know, the trouble that he went to uh, to make sure that everything's finished, it's good quality, there's no rough edges. Uh, I think it's so worth the hundred bucks. And honestly, if I knew somebody uh, that had a birthday coming up that is maybe showing some interest in woodworking, this would make a great gift. Anyway, and by the way, these are pairing blocks. Uh, I don't have any more time to really describe them, but really what they do is they provide you a ramp so that after you've cut your dovetails, you now have a guide to clean up the shoulders. So you clamp these guys, this guy in place, and you're able to guide. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's kind of like a crutch for perfect paired shoulders. Uh, anyway, this is a great set, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate, or uh, I, I even think for somebody who's advanced. Anyway, check out the Rough Cut Show and pick up a set of these. You won't be sorry.